Uh, yeah, I'm Severi Ustalo from Nokia Research Center, and uh, I'm demoing Nokia Image Space, as you said, and the mobile browser uh, aspect of it. So, uh, what we actually do is is we record the orientation information together with the, with the geotag when you when the user takes a photo with the device, which has uh, the requ required sensors like magnetometer, accelerometer, as well as the GPS. So that information goes to metadata exit field of the of the JPEG, so that it's uh, going to be there even if the user decides to upload it to say Flickr or other website, to which we have access to. So now uh, this user here and uh, his friends have have recorded such photos and. And uh, when you go to a gallery uh, of the device, you can actually go and see see the photo in Flickr. Uh, in, sorry, in image space here. So so it, it flies you to the place that the photo was taken at on a, on the map, and um, and you can view it in of course in the in the full view. You can comment it um, as you can in uh, using Flickr uh, Flickr comment fields. Now there has there's been some demo comments there. Uh, then you can also, of course, you can go and view it in Flickr um, or in the gallery, regular gallery, gallery view of the device. As, as said, these, these photos can be either in device or in, 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 in a, another content repository site. So now we can fly through these photos like this so that you can see that, okay, if I say went to this uh, mode, this application from gallery, you can see that, okay, so there were some other photo, photos also taken around it. So I can also view it from higher up. This is also a nice flight simulator for N900. So you can you can fly around to see some other other content here. So let's go back to, back to Esplanade. We can let's go down here to view the other photos. There is another photo here. And so as you can see, if you didn't have the orientation information, you couldn't. Uh, show the photos this way aligned compared to each other. So basically, this is the this is what the what the simplest features of or, or simply put what what image space is. Uh, there is also this kind of a mini map view to the to the map as well as uh, as well as uh, full blown map view. So this is how how the content is shown. To you that okay, this photo here was taken this this way and so on. So let's put the small map there. So yeah, we can go and bra fly through this area. As you can see, you can see your oh, place, place, and the orientation you are looking at and flying to in over there on the small map. And and again, we can go back to the individual photos. And also, you can go to your your uh, friends and your your own content in, which is in Flickr here, and browse through those here. So these are all, all those photos are fetched from Flickr here. So, so this is pretty much what what we have currently here. So it's really about looking at images in a more context sensitive way, Ex in terms of geotagging, but taken to the next level. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we want to we want to for the user to be able to to see the context that their photo was taken at, and also in the context of other photos that may have been taken in that place so in earlier times. Loads of other people, either that you might know, or indeed from cloud services. Even 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 in those cases, yeah, yeah. Uh, so currently, of course, there is the caveat that we only show the photos which have the required orientation information. So there isn't that much content like that. But of course, we could show only geotagged photos also. But then again, it kind of breaks the story a little bit here now so so we can as well a research center project yeah so so at this at this point of view it's it's yeah in yeah a few years sort of uh, accelerometer and magnetometer sensor information will be in every photo taken on the mobile device yeah exact exactly and also well we will actually provide a the user option to manually also orient the best photos. He might be even even excited to, to have, have his best photos there oriented and, and included in this kind of a system. Uh, the nice part in, in this is that if you have the required sensor set, this is quite inclusive because all your photos, you don't have to change the way you take photos. All your photos that you take with that device will be visible to you in this way. So.